Hey everyone, this is George Gross, and welcome back to an episode of Mindset Monday. And it is officially the last episode of Mindset Monday for season three. And um, I actually, when I first started doing this, I was planning on just doing 10. And I did that, and that eventually became season one. And part of the process uh, for me to kind of commit to that was, um, I was thinking about writing a book, I still am, but I kind of wanted, I know that sounds weird. I, I wanted to kind of go through lulls. I wanted to kind of go through and give it some time. I felt that I was on this really great health journey and I'd seen really some positive results. And part of Mindset Monday was to kind of break down each chapter and then that would eventually, or each you know video or audio and that would eventually become a chapter in the book. And I thought there's some really great ideas there, but I wanted to kind of extend it. I want to see like, you know, can I keep this up? And I'll tell you, like, since I recorded the very first episode of Mindset Monday in that first season, then I did the second season and third season, I have felt like I've, I've had lots of ups and downs. I've had a lot of times where I've, you know, really struggled, had some hard times. And I think the, the, the perception is that when we talk about mindset, motivation, inspiration, uh, discipline, all these things, it's that we have this mentality that people are on all the time that you know they never struggle they never have issues and i felt like i was on this really good path on mindset monday the first season but since then i've had some struggles and i think that even though i've had those struggles i found some calm i found some peace i found some consistency in the habits right in in kind of saying like hey even though i'm really struggling right now i'm having a hard time what are the habits that I'm actually maintaining to continuously get me through to the next day? And I think that was, um, you know, the, the, the mantra of one day at a time repeated, which would actually be eventually the name of the book that I would like to put together and write. But I just, I, for some reason, I just didn't feel it was a time. I, I, I feel like I still am committed to it, just not right now. Because I wanted to go through some ups and downs. I wanted to say like, hey, because I think, I know this sounds weird. It was going to be way too positive. It was going to be like, hey, you know, things are going good. And, and it was kind of like going to give this false perception that things are always good. And that's not reality. And so I think it's just kind of sticking through it. So, you know, um, season one came about and then there's there's like a lot of people asking for season two. And then some people are asking for season three and I committed to it. But when I committed to it, we had just moved um, to a new country, a new city, a new state and um, lots of you know, just kind of getting things back on track and just kind of figuring things out. And I've, I've been, I've been struggling. I've been having a hard time finding a routine. Like what does my day look like here? Uh, I know it sounds weird on a different time zone. That's like way earlier than what I was used to. And it's not, I don't have an issue getting up. It's like, um, am I up before a lot of the world that I connect with? And that kind of is throwing me off. Right. And just trying to find some new routines, especially with my kids. I want to spend more time with them and it seemed like what worked was a certain routine that I had when I was living in Canada. And now it's a different routine based on weather, based on, you know, opportunities, things that we're trying to, you know, do with our kids. And so I, I've been kind of like this season's kind of been like a struggle, but trying to find, you know, some of the strategies that helped. And one thing, you know, and this being the last episode of the season, I try to do is like, you know, kind of Game of Thrones, right? Like you got to... 10 episodes and then you're just like so excited for the next one which nobody is but still um and one other thing is that there was a there was a time uh when i actually just kind of was like do i want to keep doing this do i want to keep doing this mindset monday do i want to finish the season like i just feel off and you know i just feel like i'm struggling here and there is one night when um we were moving into the house I, I kind of mentioned this on another uh, episode or other podcast. I'm not very good with my hands. Uh, I was talking about a teacher friend of mine. His name is Bill Owantuck. Uh, he's a shop teacher and it's just not my thing, but he's an incredible teacher, built relationships really, really well. And um, we got uh, some furniture at the house from Wayfair. And uh, one of the, the pieces to me, like I, one of the reasons I always trouble, I struggle with like Ikea is because I can't figure out those directions. I have no idea what's going on. And so I actually paid someone uh, that came in. His name was Wayne. And I just saw Wayne just this past week. Uh, we had to get a passport for our son, Marino. 
And he was at the passport office and it was about two, three months after he had put this thing together. And I saw him and recognized him immediately. And he was so happy. And I just remember he had such an impact on me. And it was just, he came here to put something together. But it wasn't that he just came here, showed up, put something together and we paid him for it. It wasn't that at all. It was that it was really, really hard. It was quite complicated. The directions were off. He, we actually, um, I had him put together two pieces and the one piece was fine. The second piece was really complicated. And I actually, it was getting really, really late. Like it was a Saturday night, it was like 10, 30, 11. And I actually started helping him and just not, not like putting it together, just holding stuff. Um, just to try to make his life easier. And I like earlier said, Hey, Wayne, like, can I, can I get you something to eat? And he's like, I, I can't eat until this is done. Like I am just, I gotta get this done. And it was getting late and I'm like, Wayne, like we gotta go home. We, we can do this tomorrow. We can try to figure this out. And he's like, no, 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 I won't be able to sleep. I gotta figure this out. And it was like, it wasn't just, he took such pride in the work, he such pride in the work. But you can see his his mind moving in a certain way. That was just like this puzzle that had to be, um, you know, to to be completed. It was it was not just physically taxing; it was mentally taxing. And Wayne, the thing that I appreciate about him, and it's something I really tried to commit to, was he kept going until it was done. And this is kind of you know the the sometimes when you commit to. I'm going to start blogging. I'm going to start this thing. I'm going to start this health journey. I think part of it that makes the process easier for me is to say like, hey, what is the goal? And until the goal is there, I ain't quitting. I ain't going. And, you know, it might not be like, hey, I'm going to lose X amount of pounds. I'm going to do it in this amount of time. But I, I actually did it with my wager. I, I set a weight that I wanted to hit. And I was very committed to a certain program. Um, and then I kept going until I hit that goal and I was very proud. And I'll tell you, as I got closer to the end of that goal, it was harder. It was harder to get to that point, but I was like, I'm not doing close enough. The, the old, <clears throat> the old added that close enough only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. I don't know if you ever heard that. Maybe that's an old man reference, but it was, that thing is for me. And I think my goal was to do 10 episodes. And even though I've struggled some days, I'm like, I'm getting this done. I'm going to commit to this. I've committed to these 10 episodes. And sometimes I feel like I got nothing to say. So I go look for inspiration. I go look for things. It is a puzzle I have to kind of commit to. And so here I am, episode 10. And that was my commitment to you. It was, but I think more importantly, is my commitment to myself. I was going to go until this was done. That's a lesson I learned from Wayne that you could see that determination. He actually inspired me, even though I couldn't do what he was doing. He inspired me because I saw his work ethic. I saw his commitment to getting the job done. And I think a lot of times when we think about that commitment to get that job done, we think about our work, but we don't necessarily think about that as commitments we have made to ourselves. Like I'm going to achieve this thing and I ain't stopped until I get there. So I think part of it is what are those goals? What are those those ideas um, that we are committed to? What's that end point we're, we're destined to and how do we make sure we get that job done? And that's a lesson um, I learned from Wayne. Every week I set goals for um, what I'm gonna achieve, what I'm gonna create, what I'm gonna do, and I go until that's done. Sometimes I get it done early, sometimes I get it done last minute, but I always get it done. And Wayne was a great reminder. And even like, even it was funny because that was a long time ago. That it was a few months ago. But this whole season is really kind of that commitment to myself, but commitment to seeing people like Wayne inspire me. And last reminder, Wayne does something I, I don't know how to do, nor do I want to learn. And pretty amazing how incredible he was at his job and i'll tell you this is something this is probably one of the most important lessons i'll tell you from mindset monday is that you can find inspiration anywhere you're willing to look for it wayne put together a piece of furniture you know how inspiring is that well it was inspiring that he he kept going until he didn't quit. And that's what I looked at. And 
it took him a lot longer than I thought it would take him, but it was complicated. It would have taken me uh, forever, and I would have never probably got it done because I would have never committed to doing it. It would have been terrible when I probably fallen and it fell apart. But if you look for inspiration, if you look to be inspired, you will always find it. And on that path, if you look for that inspiration, you always find a way to get things done. Wayne taught me that. So I hope you enjoyed the season. Maybe there'll be another one. Maybe not. Who knows? But um, just thanks for listening. Thanks for kind of being uh, here to share. If I ask you in the comments somewhere, did you, what was a takeaway from Mindset Monday? What, what's, what's something that resonated with you? What was something that stuck out this season? I'd love to hear from you. A lot of people watch this, listen to this. I don't ever hear from them. So I'd love to hear from you. I don't, I'm terrible. Like, hey, subscribe, all this stuff. I just don't do that. I don't know why. Maybe I should. But yeah, I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear maybe what would you like to see in the future of Mindset Monday, of the podcast. But just thanks for being here. Thanks for sticking with me to the end. I know some of you post every week on Twitter or somewhere. Um, but yeah, I wanted to stick to it because uh, I made that, that commitment to myself and hopefully it helped you along the way. Take care. Have a wonderful week. Thanks.